I'm uh, here tonight with Police Commissioner Kelly, District Attorney Richard Brown, uh, Chief of Internal Affairs Charles Campisi, uh, Chief uh, James Secreto is the CEO of Queens South, uh, Deputy Chief of Queens South Detective Louis Crotchy, uh, Chief Philip Banks of Community Affairs, uh, Chief Diana Prezzuti, uh, Prezzuti who is uh, CEO of Queens North, uh, Dr. Eli Kleiman, who is the Chief Surgeon of the NYPD, and Chief Terry Shortell, uh, the head of the Gang Division. Uh, the, uh, here we are once again at uh, a hospital. In this case, it's uh, the Great Jamaica Hospital. Another night and another shooting of one of our finest. Uh, the Commissioner and I just visited with Sergeant Craig Beer, B-I-E-R, a highly decorated 15-year veteran of the department who was shot tonight while keeping the rest of us safe. Thank God Sergeant Beer's injuries are non-life-threatening. Uh, he, he is alert and in remarkably good spirits. Uh, the commissioner and I also spoke with his father, Richard Beer, who is a retired NYPD detective and his stepmother. Uh, commissioner Kelly will provide you with more details, but in short, uh, this officer, the sergeant, is part of an anti-gang unit that was operating in South Jamaica when he and his partner, Detective Nick Romano, attempted to stop an individual and the individual fled. They pursued the suspect and Sergeant Beer exchanged gunfire with the suspect and Sergeant Beer was struck in both legs. A first year member of the department came to Sergeant Beer's aid and quickly applied pressure to his wounds to prevent any serious damage. And after an intense search, we have a suspect in custody. I'll let Commissioner Kelly go through the exact details, but I think what is clear, this is the 10th member of the department shot this year. Uh, no fatalities since Peter Fagasi uh, was killed last December. Uh, if you remember, uh, Officer Fagazi was brought here to Jamaica Hospital. Um, only one month ago, uh, I vi Commissioner and I visited Brian Groves, another police officer. Uh, after he was shot, uh, between then and now, we've had two mass shootings in this country. Uh, 34 people are being murdered in this country every single day with illegal firearms. And I think it's fair to say we're still waiting for the leaders of our country and those who want to be the leaders of our country to stand up and tell us what they're going to do about this. In the next four years, 48,000 Americans are going to die from illegal guns, uh, being murdered by illegal guns, and we just have to find a ways to stop this. We all know that also included in those people, unfortunately, are likely to be people that are members of our families, our friends, or a police officer who puts their life on the line to protect us. Commissioner Kelly can brief you now on the details, right? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At uh, approximately 10.30 this evening, Sergeant uh, Craig Beer and his partner, Detective Nicholas Romano, both assigned to the Queens Gang Unit, were driving eastbound on 107th Avenue uh, when they attempted to stop a man on a bicycle who, when he saw the officers, began to flee in the opposite direction. He got off the bike and he ran down a narrow alley between a house and a tall chain link fence which enclosed the parking lot on the corner, corner of 107th Avenue and Union Hall Street. It's believed that the suspect climbed the fence and jumped onto the roof of a white van that was parked in the lot uh, in an attempt to escape onto 107th Avenue. Sergeant Beer, who had already run back to 107th Avenue to block the gunman's escape route, exchanged gunfire with the suspect, who fired four times, striking the sergeant in both legs. Uh, sergeant Beer returned fire, shooting six times, <coughs> Uh, Sergeant Beer collapsed uh, on the sidewalk along the fence line. Detective Romano, who had been pursuing the suspect along the sidewalk over the side of a two-family house at 167-12 Union Hall Street, heard the shots and ran to assist his fallen partner. A Queen South impact team in the area heard the gunfire and drove in the direction of the shooting. 
Uh, they saw Sergeant Beer on the sidewalk, put him in their vehicle, and rushed him here to Jamaica Hospital. En route, en route Police Officer Kyle Miller, a certified EMT, applied pressure to Sergeant Beer's wounds. Scores of police officers, including emergency service uh, personnel, entry teams, began an intensive hunt for the suspect. Uh, as the mayor said, we are speaking to a person of interest who uh, went to one of the area hospitals, and uh, detectives are, are questioning that individual uh, now. Uh, a Ruger 9mm pistol was recovered in the rear of 167-11-107th Avenue, not far from where Sergeant Beer was shot. Sergeant Beer, who is 44 years of age, has a total of 65 medals, 14 for meritorious police duty. And of course, this is the type of officer that the public should thank God that we have working for the New York City Police Department. And we want to thank the staff here at Jamaica Hospital for their usual uh, great job and the terrific care that they're giving to Sergeant Beer and for the great work that they do every day for the community at large. I just want to underscore what it is that the mayor said. Somehow or other, we've got to change the culture. We need legislation. We need micro stamping in Albany. We need to increase the penalties for possession of weapons. We've got to close the loophole that exists at the present time with regard to these uh, gun shows. There's so many things that we can do, but basically, we've got to change the culture can't rely upon luck to make it possible for a sergeant to go home t within a couple of days. And I think all of us have just got to get together and say, this is enough, and we've had enough of this. It's got to stop. This is the weapon that was recovered in the rear yard. It had uh, three rounds in the uh, magazine and one in the chamber.